Hello everyone. Yes, I decided to go on another holiday again. Sort of all inclusive, kind of. Uh, I didn't go on my own this time. I went with a friend and we only had the breakfast part included. I think mainly because we thought we probably would be out a bit more. Um, and I don't think we wanted to be tied to ooh, having to come back and have lunch and oh no, you know, dinner. By that point, we were probably out and about, maybe wanting to look for some bars or something. So obviously it is very different from when you're on your own to when you're with a friend. So we were having a little look around on the internet and I found the Moramar apartments in Lanzarote, which I thought looked lovely. And I wanted it to be obviously sort of in walking distance to a few shops and places to eat. And um, so we thought, yeah, let's go there. It was amazing. I think it's three stars, um, which wasn't too bad. So unlike the um, Benidorm one, Sandos, that I stayed at, these were pretty much self-contained little apartments. So it's not like you're in a complex or like a hotel and it's all one building. There are lots of little ones around. And um, obviously I'll show you the video of what it looks like inside. There were just a few bits and pieces. I think if you were wanting that extra little bit of luxury uh, Sandos and Benidorm um, I would I would definitely go for but this one I really liked it I really enjoyed it and it's actually really great if you don't want to be too fussed around as in if you don't really want to see anyone else perhaps you want it to be um, very secluded and um, you don't want really to see any hotel people or you don't really want to talk to anyone this is great because you kind of you can go through the front door the main desk is there but if you don't even really want to talk or see anyone you can just go straight through and then start looking for your apartment which is kind of all outside um, so yeah it was quite good and even on the front of your little apartment door you can actually put you know yes please come in and clean or no no you know we're fine so yes let's get on to the video Okay, so for our transfer, we've just been told that we need to go out of these, pretty much out of the airport, and then we need to go through and round the corner and upstairs.
group we've only got um, just breakfast and they're pretty much in the same area and the restaurant area is just towards the next I haven't actually been inside, so I'm not entirely sure what it looks like inside. But we will see tomorrow. Oh, the water beach is not there anymore. So these are all the apartments that are around. Ours is just a little bit further. Around the back. So this is the other swimming pool that is, oh I was going to say it's slightly smaller but it's still a fairly decent size. And then you've got like a little seating area and I think inside there you can also get some snacks. Okay so there is a little supermarket literally just on the side of the reception, just sort of around the corner. I haven't actually yet been into it, so I don't really know what they've got, but let's have a look. I've got some postcards if you're interested in sending any postcards. It actually looks quite big to be fair. Got lots of beach stuff. Alcohol. And they've also got quite a few of the sort of essential stuff, including toilet roll, baby wipes, deodorant, eye brilliant, coffee, cereal, more alcohol. Oh, they've got quite a few sort of snacks and stuff as well. Uh, they've got some sunglasses at the back there. They've also got some flip-flops here as well. So it's pretty well stocked up. Okay, so I've already had a little look around, but I'm now going to take you through as well. So these are actual like apartments. So it's actually slightly bigger than the last place that I stayed at. Uh, the only trouble is, <laughs> for some reason, yeah, these are two single beds and they decided to stick them together to make a kind of double bed, which is okay. Let's have a look outside. Quite a nice view. And we've got a little bit of like cupboard space there as well, which is quite nice. And then this is huge. Beautifully decorated as well. And here, I mean, if you want to do a little bit of cooking, you can do. And of course, you've got a kettle there as well. A few other bits and pieces. I'm not sure if we got any. Oh, brilliant. You have got cutlery. A decent sized fridge as well. Okay, so just a little bit closer inspection. There is no tea to go with the kettle. Um, I had a look up here and there was some kind of coffee baking machine. I'm not sure what that is. And then in here, Wow, we've got enough if you want to have a party. And then up here, we've just got a few mugs as well. Oh gosh, wow. And a little closer look down here. So the fridge doesn't come with anything at all. So the first thing we're going to go and do is go to the shop, buy some big bottles of water. And you've got your bin that's just under the sink there. And in this cupboard, Oh, fantastic. Okay, we do have a few a few cooking appliances. Let's see what that's like. Oh, gosh. Yeah, okay. It's half decent. And there's also a chopping board there as well. And just some kind of pot and a little saucepan. I haven't actually been into the bathroom yet. Let's have a look. Oh, wow, that's lovely. I like the pattern on the back there. 
Very pretty, very spacious. Oh, and the hair dryer is a lot better than the other one. We've got a TV here as well. And we've got a lovely balcony. So all in all, very, very happy. So we've just come across this piece of artwork and I think it looks like the snitch from Harry Potter. I don't think it's supposed to be. About a six, seven minute walk from the actual Moramar apartment. You've got this, I think it says a supermarket. Yeah, well, it says a shopping center up there. Um, you've got a salon that's just on the side here. And you've got actually a restaurant right on the end. So I'm going to go and see what the shop's like and what it actually has. Looks like it's going to be a very interesting shopping centre. Wow, okay, so we've got oh, quite a few food places, I think. Oh, there we go, there's that restaurant. And you've got quite a few cafes and restaurants down below, which look quite nice. And on the other side, you've got some other shops. I'm not sure if they've got like a normal kind of supermarket here. We might have to look elsewhere for that. So I'm down at the bottom and this is one of the shops. If you haven't bought any flip-flops with you, they do have these. They do have some men's ones as well. Loads and loads of beach stuff, beach towels. Um, inside the shop, I did actually see some sun cream as well. Um, this is a massive shop. They've got all sorts of bits and pieces. Loads and loads of handbags, loads of toys. So if you want to buy any presents then um yeah this is probably the shop to come to okay so we've just been told that just from the left of this shop if we go all the way down that there is actually a supermarket um we forgot to bring an adapter along with us so yeah and i've now probably got about three or four and of course i forgot them once again oh there we go okay so, oh yes excellent so this is going to be the supermarket perfect okay let's see what we've got we've got some bread we've got loads of sweet down the bottom got a few like vegetables and lots of fruit Lots of cleaning supplies. And do they have alcohol? Oh, yes, they do. So I've just noticed these. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're made out of wood as well. They're so pretty. So this is where we are deciding to eat for lunch. I will take a proper picture of it so you can have a look. So this bar here is pretty much an English one, so you can get like roast dinners and burgers, but it's not really what we wanted to do. We wanted to eat somewhere that was perhaps a little bit more authentic. We wanted to actually go to the one that was straight in front, but it wasn't open. I am here on a Friday <laughs> and it is the afternoon, so I'm not quite sure. Maybe they're doing re renovations or something, even though people are there. They're not quite open today, so we went to the one next door. So there is a swimming pool at the top, but we've just discovered that there is in fact... Oh my gosh! Is that all one? Oh, it is! There's another one! That's cool. You can see it's not, not so sunny today, but it said it's just going to be cloudy, so hopefully there won't be any rain. So we are on the hunt.
bought the gym. We've already been around once. We're just walking down from the reception area and he said to turn left down this little pathway. Um, this is where the other swimming pool is. The last person said turn left and now the other person said turn right. So we're going to give it a second try. We can't turn right. Do you think he means go over the bridge and then turn right? He might... Oh, does he mean that little gym area over there? With like one bike in it. That's, I think that's the gym area. Okay, so luckily it's not just one bike. I think we can just about see a sign that says gym, but it is incredibly hidden. Okay, we got there. Hola. Okay, this is cool, this is cool. Brilliant. So, for the gym, <laughs> uh, it's actually five euros, it's not free. Um, so, I think exercise today will just have to sort of be swimming. There is tennis, but we don't know yet if we have to pay for that either. So, we didn't actually get all inclusive, we've only got the breakfast. Let's go and see what they have. So this right here is my favourite part, the bacon is just so crispy, it's so thin, I've already had about three or four pieces and I'll probably have some more. We then wanted to find our way along to the beach and it was roughly about an eight minute walk, as you can see from the map. Yeah, it really didn't take very long and it was a lovely walk. No matter where you go, there's always some kind of Irish bar. So quite far down from the beach, there's this little complex. 
few restaurants and a couple of shops. And then back onto the beach again. Interestingly, look what I found. <laughs> yes, well, obviously I will not be going to see any of this, but perhaps I can make this into another video. We can see what type of um, park that they have here. Okay, so we finally, we had to catch a taxi here because it was quite far to walk. This is the Serenity Bar, which is apparently a really nice cocktail bar. And I think there's like jacuzzis on the top. Um, so we have bought our swimming gear just in case. Oh wow! I do so. Oh my goodness! This looks fancy. So when I was looking on the internet, this is what I mainly saw, but all these beautiful peacocks everywhere, which looks really lovely. And then look at, oh my goodness. Up to the second floor. Now, as I said before, it is a little bit windy today. It's still warm, but I'm still gonna want to sit up here. <laughs> The cocktails are really good prices. They've got loads, they've got salmon, grilled tuna, squid. So they do some quite fancy seafood. And then they do have hamburgers. They also do some pasta dishes as well. As you can obviously see, the running theme is peacocks, which are beautiful. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that mirror. Wow. This is just going downstairs. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at this. Wow. This is just like the hallway to the toilet. I don't usually do videos of bathrooms. <laughs> but this one is pretty damn cool. Oh look, you've got a long mirror as well. Um, <laughs> I had to take a video in the toilet because I, I, I'm not sure what the fuck, oh, okay, well, I haven't actually been to the toilet yet, but 
What did this one do? Oh. Okay. <laughs> so that's how you flush the toilet. I'm guessing the larger one is a longer flush and then the weird one on the side is a shorter flush. Hmm. Interesting. So at night time on the left here, um, we saw bingo going the other day, as you can see, there's like a little stage there. So maybe they've got some, I don't know, live music at some point, but we haven't really been here late enough to, to see what that's like. We're now at this point of the walk, just going through all the greenery. Now, when you get to the bottom here, that's where you're going to find, I think it's five T's, like the letter T's. Um, it's probably a piece of artwork. If you ever go, you'll know what I mean. And that is just the point that you need to remember. When you start walking along the promenade, go for dinner, and then you come back, there's lots of walkways, so it might get confusing. So as long as you watch out for the five T's, then you'll be able to get back. Now the look to be down on the beach, kind of little restaurant. We've actually already eaten, but it looks really cool. And there's even ooh, there's even a few more places to sit down there. Very excluded. We were actually on the hunt for this bar that someone recommended to us, and it was called Route 66. Well, I think it was like R Ruta 66, um, and as the name suggests it was um, slightly American. In fact, when you go in, it looks like America has thrown up inside of the bar. So it was still pretty cool. Um, but I mean, it, you know, the walls are covered, the ceiling, it's, uh, it's very colorful. Um, I don't think we, we were there for a very long time, only because I think we wanted to do a little bit of dancing elsewhere. And there are a few clubs. Um, but I think, you know, if you wanted to go to some proper big clubs, you'd probably have to get a taxi because I think they're a bit further out. Okay, so we're in a really lovely, quirky restaurant and look at the light shades. They're like upside down hanging baskets. Very, very pretty. So this is the map that we were given. Luckily, um, where we were staying, it wasn't actually too far away. We literally just had to go round the corner to here. Obviously, these ones would probably take a bit longer to get to. This was the back pool that's just round the corner from where we are. And then, of course, here's the other main pool. And then you've got the gym next to it. Um, again, as I said, you've got to pay, and it was five euros. You can also see here, you can play things also like tennis, but again, we don't really know if you've got to pay for them because we didn't actually have any time to play. So you might have been able to see in the videos that it's windy and it does get quite windy in Lanzarote in general. I mean, luckily it wasn't cold. You know, the breeze was still quite nice and warm. However, there was, there was one day when I thought, oh, let's sit next to the pool and maybe read my book. And, you know, my book was sort of, you know, I couldn't even keep my book still. And I thought, this is not quite as relaxing as I was hoping for. So what we actually did, well, I went back in and I looked at our um, little kind of balcony and I thought, this is totally self-contained because the walls go all the way up. 
So it's perfect for the wind. It's just wind resistant, basically. Um, so we were, a little, <laughs> we were a little bit naughty. And from the settee um, opposite the TV, there was just this one, I don't I think it might have just been foam, you know, pillow thing. And we thought, well, how about we just take that outside? We did think about taking the whole seating area outside, but it didn't fit through the door. Um, but that was great, we just laid that down and then on the other side we had this kind of wall so one of us could sit there and one of us could sit on this other um, pillow thing on the other side and we were there for hours um, and you know I was sitting there reading my book I thought oh this is much nicer. Um, I did decide one day that I did want to go for a swim and even though everything else was still pretty windy it was fine once you're in the swimming pool. Um, you know, it's not like I was getting whipped in the face by water and I was splattering around. Actually, once I got in, there were only a few little ripples and it was wonderful. I, you know, it, it was still very warm. Um, I think there was only one day that was maybe a bit cloudy. And of course, in the evenings, it does get a little bit cooler. But, you know, we didn't really mind. Now, with the Serenity Bar, it wasn't really in walking distance. So we had walked right to the end of the promenade, right next to the beach. And we thought, OK, let's have a look at the maps. And it still said then, I think, about 40 to 45 minutes. And of course, we sort of already walked that. And we thought, oh, my goodness. We thought, oh, well, we've seen lots of people with these scooters. So let's, you know, let's ask. So for one hour, it's 15 euros. So not only did I think that was quite a lot, we didn't need it for an hour. We just sort of needed it for about 10, 15 minutes. And then we thought we don't know if there are any drop-off points that are going to be near Serenity Bar. So we just thought, oh, what about a taxi? Um, well, actually, it was my friend who suggested that. And I thought, oh, no, that might be really expensive as well. But we thought, OK, let's let's give it a go. And that cost us about €3.50. €3.50. Euros. Um, I think we'll be using taxis for the rest of the holiday. And that's exactly what we did. And we hardly spent anything. Um, so, yeah, that was definitely the best way to go. I wouldn't skip out the promenade walk because, of course, that's really lovely and beautiful. Once you get to the end, there's not really much else to look at. Um, so, yeah, I, I do recommend doing that. I think from Serenity, we then did go all the way back to Moramar, and I think it cost us about five euros fifty. So, again, you know, still it's not it's not a huge amount, and it was just um, a lot easier that way. Now. <laughs> If you're interested in doing the jacuzzis at the top of the Serenity Bar, I did have a look at the prices. It was something like 110 euros for an hour. Again, we were like, that's quite expensive. And uh, I don't know if I want an hour in a jacuzzi. I think 30 minutes and I'll probably start turning into a prune. But any longer, I'm not so sure. And it was still a little bit windy that day. So we're like, oh, are we going to enjoy it as much as we could? Um, but I did find out that, um, you know, towards Christmas, they do have a couple of special deals. Um, so I think at the moment it was 80 euros for an hour and you get two cocktails included, which I thought that was actually, that, that's pretty good. Um, I don't know how long that goes on for. It might be right up until Christmas, but I thought that was a pretty good deal. So yes, as I said, it's not kind of as luxurious as the other place that I stayed at in Benidorm. Um, and you'll you'll just notice because there might, might be a couple of things that are a bit like, oh, OK. And um, for us, it was the back door and trying to close it. I noticed it was perhaps just a little bit um, loose and uh, <laughs> my friend tried to close it and it came off. But this was oh, this was probably about 11 o'clock at night. So we thought, oh, my goodness, you know, is there, is there going to be anyone around to actually fix it? Um, I mean, there is obviously always someone at the desk, but I didn't know if they would be able to sort this out. Um, within 10 minutes, they sent someone over. They must have only been there for five minutes and it was completely fixed. So we were very happy with that, you know, um, knowing that it was obviously quite late as well. So that was absolutely fine. Um, and then there were just a few other things like um, I noticed on the toilet, maybe a little bit on the side is chipped um, or in the kitchen, maybe the counters. You, yeah, you could see on the side that that was maybe a little bit chipped for me and my friend. We didn't mind. You know, that's like a very minuscule thing. 
I'm only saying it because, you know, there might be some people like, oh, I want to go somewhere really luxurious or that doesn't matter to me. I wouldn't mind. Um, so, yeah, still the decorations I thought were beautiful. Um, I think we had a couple of dragonflies on the wall, which was really lovely. And it was really spacious. The ceilings were really high. Um, the only... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, right. Remembering now. At night time, it can get super windy at this time of year to the point where our front door, not the back door, which is the one that broke, um, the front door was rattling. And I thought, oh, maybe I haven't like locked it because I think sometimes you have to double lock it. No, no, it was locked. So I don't know if it was just our door and maybe it wouldn't happen with anyone else's, but it was kind of constant to the point where we thought we're gonna have to do something about this. So I think I put um, a bottle of gin on the main end and then <laughs> just we put towels and pieces of clothing and just kind of stuffed it all underneath. But that heavy bottle right at the um, opening of the door really helped kind of keep it in place. So just be warned, you might, might have to do the same. The food, oh, the food was wonderful and it was actually somewhere I think along the promenade where we had tapas I'll put a picture here I'm afraid I can't remember the name of the place but I think it was just before the Irish pub um the the paddy bar I think it was literally just sort of one up from there and it was pretty cheap I think the one that we had was about 15 euros and we shared that so for lunch that was absolutely perfect um and yes I had the same cocktail throughout the entire holiday, I think I might be slightly addicted because that's the only cocktails that I had when I was in Benidorm as well. So yes, my overall stay at Moramar Apartments was wonderful. We were only there for about three nights, so not a huge amount of time, um, but it was enough to see everything. Yes, the only thing that I, I did notice was quite different was when you go into the breakfast area or, or the dining area, it did give me an old people's home vibe, just slightly. It was very big, very spacious, um, and again, very, very tall ceilings. But I, I noticed the, I think the, the, <laughs> the decorating was very dated. I did feel it was very dated. And I didn't feel that I was sort of on a, a vacation. I thought, yes, I'm, I feel like I'm visiting my grandma or something. God rest her soul, um, because it just had that sort of vibe, a very old kind of vibe to it. Again, that was fine because we only had breakfast, so we weren't in there for very long. Um, but yes, it was just something that I did notice. So anyway, if you're looking to go anytime now, I think, you know, it's, it's pretty cheap for three nights. In fact, I think it was a very, very similar price to Benidorm. I think it might have been 360, 370, something like that. Do be warned, <laughs> if because um, that only includes a backpack. So you can have your little handbag and it includes a backpack, which is a bit random because I've never really heard them say that before. Usually it's like a little roll-on bag, but that's not included, not the one that we did anyway. Um, so yes, if you did want a little roll-on bag, EasyJet, uh, we'll charge 60, 60 pounds, that was very painful, uh, for just a little roll-on bag, like the smallest one that you can kind of get. Uh, so yes, if you're only going for a couple of nights, a backpack might actually be okay. I just thought that, you know, the add-on would be maybe, I don't know, 25, 30 quid or something for a little bag, but no, 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 60 pounds. So yes, definitely keep that in mind.